Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with me, Victoria Nolan. Do you want to start okay, dancing? You want to, you want to dance now? You okay, let's show them some of our moves. In episode four of AMI-TV's new series, We Are One, we meet the Hutchinson family. Hi, I'm Mara Lauren Hutchinson, and I'm a legally blind woman, wife, and mother, and I'm pretty much, I guess you call an influencer. My name's Basil. Um, I registered nurse in the Emerge, and I'm Mara's husband. We Are One highlights Canadian families within the disability community as they experience their own unique set of joys, struggles, and successes. We are, we are the, the Hutchinson, Hutchinson family, family, and we, we are, are one. I was diagnosed with RP on February 24th of 2011. So I think I was about 28, 28 years old. Retinitis pigmentosa, or RP, is a group of rare eye diseases that make cells in the retina break down over time, causing vision loss. As of right now, like I don't see much on my left. It's just um, outlines, or I don't see anything in my center. It's just all blobby. In my right, it's just 5%, and it's like a very tiny peephole, and the way I would like to describe it as well is like when you look through a little, little straw and everything else is blacked out and then it's just that center vision that's there and it's very, very tiny. Mara did not receive the news of her vision loss well. At the time, she and Basil were engaged and they discussed whether or not to go ahead with the wedding. Just the whole process of really accepting this at that time and what our future would be like. It was honestly such a dark space, but we've come a long way. After getting married, the next step was to consider whether or not they wanted to have a child considering Mara's vision loss. We thought about it and we're like, we're still gonna go forward with it. Um, I mean, for me, it's probably an easier decision. I was like, sure, if you're, if you're down, <laughs> I'm, I'm up for it too. <laughs> we wanted a, at least one and if we're blessed with one, then we're blessed, and we'll just take on whatever it brings in terms of um, talking to the specialist regarding if you do happen to have, um, you know, become pregnant, this can happen, which is during pregnancy, you could lose more vision and or your eye condition can get passed down. There was a lot of things that we needed to really consider. When we found out that we were expecting, they did offer and told us that we could actually do some testing now while I'm still pregnant. But we both, that was the one thing that we both said, no, we didn't want to do any testing during pregnancy and we'll just have the baby. Their son, Mateo, now four years old, was born. Mara dove right into her role as a new parent. People don't understand is that like, you kind of have to brush things off a little bit with whatever you're dealing with because you're a new mom, you're hurting, you're recovering and trying to breastfeed and this and trying to adjust to this new life now. Throughout her vision loss journey, Mara's mom was with her every step of the way. Truly like just an amazing person to kind of really guide you with a lot of things and no matter like whatever I needed, she didn't even, she never wanted me to take the bus. And if anything, she'll offer to drive me. And I'm always like, no, don't worry about me. I'm okay. You know, just things like that. Like she was always there. If, like anything going on here, you could always lean on her. Um, especially if with any childcare issues. I know a lot of people don't have that kind of support where they have like a babysitter, but at least we had somebody here. If we ever want to go out, she'd even tell us like, you guys need a break go do something, I'll take care of Mateo, don't worry about that. While she was struggling, Mara started posting the challenges she was facing on Instagram. I'm able to do a lot more things and that's what I'm trying to show that because you're disabled doesn't mean that the world has to stop. Like you can still continue what you wanna do or what you love. And if you like this and like, you know, then continue to do that. 